The purpose of this special subcommittee is to interfere with the special counsel's ongoing investigation into a conspiracy to overturn the 2020 election. This is a shocking abuse of power. But it's not just the usual efforts by members on the other side of the aisle to once again do Donald Trump's dirty work. This time, they're trying to protect themselves. One of them, a member from Pennsylvania, had his cell phone seized pursuant to a court order finding probable cause that he committed a crime. Yet he has indicated that he wants to be on this subcommittee so that he can undermine a criminal investigation into himself. My Republican counterparts can dress up the subcommittee with a menacing name, but let's call it what it really is, the Republican Committee to Obstruct Justice. That was the new congressman from New York's 10th Congressional District, former impeachment counsel Daniel Goldman, laying out the scheme planned by the Republican House majority to, it appears at least from now, interrupt criminal investigations of themselves and their actions in 2020 and 2021. For the record, that vote to create that subcommittee passed 221 to 211 along strict party lines. It's just one of a barrage of actions from the new Trumpist House in its first week in action. For more on all of it, I'm joined now by Congressman Ruben Gallego, Democrat of Arizona, who served on the Armed Services, Veterans Affairs, and National Resources Committee. Um, Congressman, first let's start with this new subcommittee. Uh, I guess there's a bunch of ways that you could imagine the, a version of this being a perfectly legitimate inquiry. Uh, no. you're, you're, you're shaking your head. Why not? No, there is no per. This is a cover-up committee. It is a sanctioned cover-up committee by Kevin McCarthy that he has sanctioned for the sole purpose of getting those radicals to vote for him for speaker. And it is essentially giving power to those that are being investigated to have power over those that have the right to investigate them. This is as if we gave the mafia the right to investigate the South District of New York uh, attorney's office. Right. Or have the FBI to invest, be investigating uh, some of our worst criminals. There's nothing logical about this. And let's not mince word about that. Yeah. What, why do you think this was such a this was obviously a clear, obsessive focus of those holdouts uh, in, in the House? It was one of the big things that they, they talked about in the run up. Why do you think they were so laser focused on it? Well, when you act with criminal intent and criminal guilt, probably because you have some criminality. I mean, the, the basic honest answer. <laughs> Let's go right to the, the most uh, uh, direct answer. You know, they have something to hide. So they're going to try to use whatever power they can to hide it. And they don't have Trump in power anymore to help them out. This is only one of a number of committees that, of course, are going to be used to launch investigations. Uh, and, and of course, that's standard, right? I mean, every, you know, Congress has oversight. The majority of committees launch investigations. I guess there's 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 sort of two different ways I think to think about the the coming onslaught from House Republicans, right? Hunter Biden and uh, oversight with James Comer is, you know, this is going to really be dangerous and it will um, mess with the work of, say, the special counsel or it will drive headlines that American people will see. And the other is, this will be as productive as the Durham. Uh, investigation, which was the much ballyhooed counter Mueller investigation right. launched uh, at the behest of Donald Trump and then William Barr that basically did nothing and has come up with like a bunch of acqu acquittals. Well, yes. So the, the problem is that nothing will happen. But also, the problem is nothing will happen. People in Arizona are worried about the cost of living right now. These Republicans ran and saying they're going to try to fix that. The first couple of bills they've actually introduced have nothing uh, to do with that. You know, we have some real world problems in Arizona dealing with drought, with water scarcity. Uh, these guys aren't doing anything about that. Uh, everything they ran on is quite the opposite of what they're doing in the first hundred days. So wherever, whatever their values are, it, it's, it's what they're showing through their actions. But it does not align with what the American people want. And that's why the American people barely gave these people, these Republicans, control of, of Congress and the way that they're acting, they're quickly going to take control back. That that point about inflation is is an interesting one. You know, it, it struck me. I mean, obviously, it was the number one thing that Republicans would talk about. Of course, if you ever tried to be like, you know, try to say, well, what then? You, inflation's high. If you elect me, I will X. Well, right? Do, yeah. Right. There was never really an X at the end part of that. And I think honestly, if there had been, they would they have would have done better. I think there was that was ferreted out a little bit by the voters. But even from a just really crass messaging standpoint, it is striking to take office and not have that be one of the first few things you do to say, like, we're here, help is here, right. and America, we are going to do this now. 
Well, in order for them to actually reduce and have like an actual effect on inflation, they're going to have to go against the people that basically feed their cash monster. Yeah. They are the ATM to the Republican Party. So you actually have to somehow reduce gross uh, profits that are being uh, that, that these companies, corporations are actually eating up right now. And they can't do that. You can't go against the people that are basically funding all of your campaigns. Uh, and, you know, they can't go and, and support us to bring down the cost of prescription uh, 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 prescriptions uh, in this country. So people like in Arizona don't have to travel all the way to Mexico, though it's only a couple hours drive depending where you are, in order to get cheaper drugs than uh, the same drugs that are produced in Mexico and actually imported back to the United States. Uh, they can't do that because then pharma won't keep funding them in the future. So uh, their answer could only be more fear and fear and more distraction because at the end of the day, they can't fulfill their promise because it's not in their nature to actually go against the people that continue to fund all their campaigns. We got the committee assignments and the gavels handed out today. Two interesting notes. 11 of the 17 committee chairs announced today voted uh, to uh, decertify, uh, to vote for the coup. And my other favorite fact about the incoming House Republican committee chairs, there are more mics with gavels than there are women. We got a lot of mics in the crew, but it also sort yeah, of says something. There, there are also more mics than uh, people of, of color. Actually, I don't see one black or Latino person in that uh, group altogether. Uh, but, that look, is definitely true. I, I, I do work well with some of these uh, mics, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I look well, forward so some, to working yeah, in a some decent mics out there. Yeah, there's some decent mics. You know, like not all mics are made the same, <laughs> right? So like, let's not let's not judge them all. Uh, and I look forward to working with those that have a common interest in keeping this country yeah. safe and you know, you know making this country you know move forward in a manner that helps everybody well, but for those that are just going to keep you know pushing the the maga line trying to defend donald trump to break down a rule of law with this new cover-up committee uh that they're they're calling whatever they're calling it now but it's essentially a cover-up committee yep. yeah this is this is going to be a problem we're going to fight them every which way